Hi. If you find this content useful, please support my channel on Patreon. Become a member of the family and get yourself the offer to rewards. You find the link in the description. Hi, and welcome to this episode. Sometimes it can be handy to be able to crossfade between different signals by keeping the volume the same. We will come to an example in the next video when this can be very helpful or even necessary. But let's get started. I rendered out a part from a previous video to give us the signal to listen to. To create a crossfader, I open an instance of Patcher. Inside, I need two instances of Fruity Balance. I name them A and B. To set up everything properly, I connect the input with both plugins. Don't press play, as the signal would be doubled at the moment. I create a knob on the surface, which I will use to blend between the two instances. In Patcher, there is no way to apply any mapping formulas, like we can normally do. So we need a controller plugin to help us out. For static formulas, like inverting or similar actions, I recommend the XYZ controller. Its mapping tabs are very flexible and offer a neat visual way to do all kinds of crazy stuff. I connect the surface knob to the X and Y parameter. On the output side, I activate X and Y as well and send X to the volume parameter of A and Y goes to B. As the volume range of the fruity balance goes above 0 dB, I right-click the volume knob and copy its value at the 0 dB position. In the XYZ GUI, I change the view to output mapping and right-click the topmost point to paste the value. As you can now see, when using the surface knob, at the maximum position the volume of A is exactly at 0 dB, while the volume knob of B goes up to 5.6 dB, which we don't want. As I want to use the two plugins to blend or crossfade two signals, the volume knobs must move in opposite directions. Means I need to flip the output mapping of parameter Y. Now the point on the left hand side is the topmost one, so I copy the value to it. This is what I like to have. Let's have a listen. And this is a problem. As the fruity balance doesn't have a linear behavior on the volume knob, the sound gets quieter towards the middle and then gets louder again. The volume has a logarithmic shape, so we cannot scale it in a linear fashion like we got it now in the XYZ controller. We have to find out how to set the curve to match the scaling of the volume knobs. I insert wave candy after the patcher. Go to the meter tab, set it to VU and scale it to 100%. Let's play the music and have a look at the loudest part. Keep an eye on the hint bar. At the loudest point at minus 11.14 dB, we got the right channel a little bit above and the left channel a bit below. So that's a good measuring point. Now it's a matter of trial and error. I set the surface knob to the middle, which was the quietest point before. To the left it got louder, to the right it got louder. Linear, we are far too quiet. It's of course important to bend both envelopes with the same values. Again, keep an eye on the hint bar. Yes, 
at 10.5%, it got already better. Twenty point five is already too much. Fifteen point five percent is the exact value. Perhaps it's a good idea to create a little tips and tricks text file to note such values if you need them later. Let's have a listen. Through the whole range of the knob, the volume of the music stayed the same. That's what I want. Now, as I know I do not change the loudness with crossfading, I can of course route any kind of source to them, and it doesn't have to be the same. Single sounds. and an alternative modulated by a sample and hold LFO. I saved the preset for my patrons and see you in the next video, which will be online soon, I promise. Thank you for watching.